Hey, it's Amir and Chris, your favorite trainer. Well, maybe not, maybe just depending on the workout, but either way, you're with me because you know I have the best of intentions for you. So aside from our workouts and finding consistency with that, I really want you to focus on recovery, right? Because even though our schedule gets hectic and we feel like we can't keep our routine, at the same time, we're also building stress, right? We have the stress of our workouts and then also those daily stresses that we go through with family, work, and all of that. So I thought it'd be important to challenge you to make recovery a part of your routine because whether you're doing it post-workout or to get into your workout, it's also helpful for the days where you're not working your working out, right? Because you need to be able to check in with your body. And sometimes just taking that time to slow down and check in will just allow you to recognize what you need to do moving forward to make sure you feel better. So my challenge to you my peanut gang, <laughs> is to use this at least three times a week and see how you feel. I'd love for you to do it in the morning when you wake up. It's great because sometimes we sleep a little bit funky, so it's a great way to wake up your body and again, check in with yourself, or also at the end of the night, because I found from my own experiences, sometimes the peanut may not feel as intense in the morning, but by the end of the day, it's a completely different experience because by that time, I have already experienced too much, a lot throughout the day. So there's stress to be relieved and just to reset and go into bed much more calmly and have a better night's rest. So anyways, let's get straight to it. I'd love to start out with a peanut working on our thoracic spine, right? So this part, right? I would like to start with it in our mid back. So for the ladies, a great note is kind of thinking like starting where your bra strap would be, right? So we're gonna place this in the middle with the spine coming right between the space here, the gap. And you're gonna to wanna to lay down gently. So lay down with me, get a feel because sometimes it can be a little bit intense. Lay that head down, feet planted. Let me fix my mat, okay? And just take a second to feel that out. Really try to pull or pull your belly button into your spine. Take a second to just let that settle in. You wanna breathe into it. You wanna find a way to relax in that tension, right? It's a sweet pain, sweet discomfort, but you don't want any sharp shooting pains. You can start to wiggle a little bit side to side slowly, not fast, kind of let your knees sway side to side, allowing those hips to shift. So like for me right now, I'm currently feeling it more on the right side of my body. All right, so also depending on your level while you're here, if you keep your feet down, that's a good starting base. If you're looking for a little bit more of a feel, you can extend your legs straight out. And then also, if you're looking for more, you can place your feet back down where you first had it and also lift your hips up. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hips down. So what I want you to do with me here, all right, you're gonna take your thumbs, point them towards the ceiling there by your sides, and we're gonna raise over our head wherever that range takes us. Good. Back and forth. See if you can tap that floor over your head, wherever that range is. So here you're able to tell how much tension you have in your back. Also, if your thumbs aren't hitting the floor, you can tell that you might be a little tight up top. Your range of motions a little bit out of range here. Your shoulders, I'm gonna work on that mobility, warm it up. Gonna okay, keep moving with me. We're gonna go three, tap overhead, bring it back over, tap for two, bring it back overhead, one more, and for one. Gently scoot yourself down if you're comfortable, or I like to lift up, scoot the ball back, close, moving up towards my neck right? Moving it halfway between where my traps are and where we just were with the bra strap and then gently bring yourself back down. 
see how you feel here. It's definitely getting tighter for me. <laughs> okay, push those hips into the ground, tuck that pelvis. Again, just breathe here. Take a second to let that just marinate into your back. Checking with yourself if you're too tense. Sometimes you think we're relaxed and then we're really just stressed. So melt into it. Go to inhale. And exhale. Okay, sway your hips just a little bit. Your knees side to side. Sway your knees side to side, <laughs> little by little, not any big movement. This tends to be a very sensitive spot for everybody. We're all carrying a load back there. <laughs> Good, and bring your knees back to center. And we're gonna go ahead and do that thumbs up again, hands by side, reach overhead, thumbs towards the ground. Again, that same tempo, there's nothing rushed about this. This is recovery. We want to make sure that everything we're doing is feeling good. It's again, it's only the slightest discomfort. Nice and steady. If you want to think about your breathing here, when your hands start by your hips, you're going to inhale. And exhales, you raise them over and tap. Inhales, you bring them down by your side. Exhales, you raise over. Let's go ahead and do two more. There's one tap, bring it over. And two. Good, all right, I'm gonna gently peel myself off. Already starting to feel better. I'm going to get the ball, the peanut, to the top right here onto my traps, just at the base of my neck. All right, find your spot for you. That is money. <laughs> Take a second right here. Let that settle in. And now here you can shift your shoulders side to side, palms up. Now you can go ahead and stay here, or if you're like me, where I carry a lot of that stress up top, I want a little bit more um, pressure on there. I feel like I can handle it. So again, I'm gonna do like I mentioned earlier, so I'm gonna raise my hips into it, and there we are. Woo! And I'm just gonna hold it here, because that intensity is all that I can have. But feel free if you need to keep, keep your heels down, go ahead. You can even, if you can't hold it up the whole time, you can do those glute bridges in and out of it just to keep working into it. Because not only, you know, when we stretch, sometimes we can statically stretch, right? Just holding that position. But what's great about this active movement is you can see how your body's reacting in different ranges of motion, right? And why we do this release is so we can reset and make sure that we're moving properly because the more we move incorrectly, the more we're building bad habits and that leads to even more pain and aches so this is what we need to do to reset our body to make sure we're good Ooh, really feeling it up there i'm going to hold it here and just shift my shoulders side to side Ooh. but again do what feels good for you right i'm giving you this base right here to work off of, but as you do this over and over, you're really gonna find out what spots you carry a lot of that tension that are gonna need more love. So do what works best for you. All right, I'm gonna come on down from there. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move it onto the base of my neck, right? So I'm gonna place it right here. If you can see, I'm gonna go back down and just a little bit of love there, but I'm just gonna shift my head from right to left, right to left. Again, steady pace here, feel it, be gentle. A lot of the times when we do this, we discover that we're tense in areas that we didn't even know we were, so be gentle. 
Still keeping that foundation. Keep your low back flushed to the mat. And let's go ahead and get four more shifts from side to side. One, two, three, and four. Yay! <laughs> All right, moving on. I want to take you through your whole body. So another thing, as I was mentioning, when we lift up and over, sometimes we'll notice that our arms might feel a little bit off, right? So if you do yoga, when you do that chair pose, especially for me, because I get very tight up here, I'll come down and my arms start to shift so you notice which side's tighter and you're just all uneven and wonky. So one spot that a lot of us don't tend to, which would be great, is in our teres minor, right? We want to release it right here, right in your armpit. So I'm going to place one part of the ball on it here. So I'm going to lay on my side, so join me and gently come down. This may or may not be a trigger spot for you, but I want you to go through your whole body and just discover again, like how it's feeling. So you can keep it here. Sometimes that tension is enough just to hold it on there. But what I like to do is also shift towards the back and adjust the ball if it's not right in the quite right spot, just forward and back. You'll feel that release, maybe tight there. You can go forward and back. I like to do pump up. I feel a little bit more as I open up my body towards the ceiling. Again, small movement here. This might be a new discovery for you. I know once I got worked on by my person, I was like, what is that? But then my arm was able to extend further back. So I am a true believer, right? You gotta learn your body. And just a couple more seconds here. And gently come off of that. Switching sides. I'm going to flip sides on my mat so I stay facing you. All right, under your other armpit. All right. Under here. Adjust it as needed. So you want to shift forward and back just gently to get on there if you can handle it. And then once you kind of find that trigger spot, that's where I'll actively move on it. So I found it, I'm gonna move forward and back, try to get it out, right? And then also side to side. Ooh. Gentle, gentle. Take your time. Again, when it starts to hurt, right? But that sweet pain, it's never a sharp pain that's where our body's gonna want to tense up and like protect us, but that's where you need to breathe. So the moment you feel tense, just take that pause and be like, and melt into it. Okay. Just a little bit longer here, right in that spot. And go ahead and finish up on there. All right, now another area I'd like you to work on, it might be a little bit easier on a wall or if you had one single leg cross ball, not a peanut, but it's also something that you can do on here. We're gonna do a pec release right in here. So, you know, our chest area can get very tight when we're rounded, all of this, we all need to open this back up. So with this here, especially say you do a lot of like high reps on your push-ups, whatever it be, just like I did this weekend, um, I'm definitely feeling it here, so it's something that I need to release. I don't want to keep that tight and then not open it back up before I start lifting again because then I'm just building off of this, right? But I need to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and place again one part of it on here. But I'm going to lay down. Let's do this way again. So as I lay, I'm going to find that spot here. I'm going to actually take the top of the peanut lay it down again you might feel it right away there but i'm gonna shift my arm forward and back and you can kind of feel it dig into it i'm just gonna go ahead and rest my head just the front there range of motion a lot of us sometimes also have like that sensitive rotator cuff i'm gonna adjust it a little bit Ooh. 
Gently isolating here, so I'm currently with nothing's in pain. <laughs> Take your time here. Again, everybody's different, and depending on the workout you may have just done, this may not be a prominent spot for you right now. But nonetheless, we can all still use it. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and relax off of that and switch sides. Flip over, you can probably just roll over as long as you can see me, what's happening here. Okay, place it again, that pec area, just above the armpit spot. Now this time I rotated it um, parallel to the top of this mat here. You gotta find which way is more comfortable for you on the piano, so you can play around with it just depending on your spot and what feels comfortable. Again, if you have a single lacrosse ball and you can switch back and forth, maybe you'll use that. This is where my range allows. Sometimes you can come a little bit higher, but this is good for me. Parallel the shoulders and back down. It's a little bit more. You can play with your hand, rotate it, see how it feels. And go ahead and relax from that. Now, let's come to a seated position. Our glutes, right? Boom, right in there. So glutes can be sleepy from sitting in our chairs all day, being sedentary, also from a great workout. So, you know, especially if y'all have your booty bands, <laughs> you know how you can feel post-workout. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit one part of the ball. All right, I'm gonna place it right in the meat here in the center. And again, when we're doing this release, you kind of just have to play around with it, right? Until you find that trigger spot. So as of right now, I'm gonna keep both of my feet down. But if I'm able to take that extra pressure on there, what I will do is whatever side the ball is on, I will take that leg and place it, oh, my ankle over my opposite knee. And just like that, you feel a little bit more. Yeah. So again, just small little movements. Sometimes just holding it there is enough, just depending on the intensity you need. But we'll hold here. All right, hands are just right behind you. You're just hanging out. This is something you can do while you're watching TV. You know, there's a lot of moments in our day sometimes where we're relaxing and we could be even more relaxed by taking care of ourselves. So I hope the more that you do this and remember how good you feel after, it's something that you'll continue to implement. And I'm gonna go ahead and come on off. I'm switching sides. Go a little more profile. You can find that part of the glute that's tight for you. So like I said, you can lift that um, foot up, place it right over top. Another thing that I like to do, maybe if it's this is too intense, a next level of just to stay active and see how your uh, glute feels in different movements is I'll keep both feet down and wing it, right? Get that little butterfly wing flap. So do whatever serves you. You can simply sit on it like this, right? You can rock forward and back or lean into it and out, flap, or put that ankle over your opposite knee. My boots are feeling pretty good today. I'm happy. <laughs> And now we're gonna go ahead. Let's get to our calves. I feel like they don't get enough love sometimes. So the meat of our calves, right? Just that chunky part where you can see that split where it bulges out. I'm gonna place one calf on there. And you can go from here, lift yourself up a little bit, move forward and back. Feel that out. And then also rotate your ankle, right? Side to side, or your leg, should I say. Rotate your leg right on that meat right there. Good. If you do feel the need, you can stack. That's a little intense for me, so I'm not going to do that. 
Um, so I'm gonna keep it right here and side to side. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides. I'm gonna rotate, you don't need to, but just to make sure I'm open to y'all. In the meat of the calf. Lift up just to see how it feel. Feels good enough to roll forward and back, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> Yeah, you have to tell me if you found or discovered any uh, trigger points that you did not know existed. All right, and the more we take care of our entire body because everything's all interconnected, sometimes you'll find that pain is relieved in other areas. You'd be surprised that sometimes where you feel the pain, it's not necessarily where it's from, right? The origin is actually a different place. All right, relax there. And lastly, just want to do a little bit of a, a foot play here. I'm just going to take one part of the ball. I want to go on the inside here. I mean, you can play with it, but just kind of lift and right on the inside of that meat there on that arch. You'll find different parts will feel better or they're more tense, but you're on your feet all day, right? That's one thing we always have to do every day. We're walking at some point, so take care of these bad boys. I'm gonna switch sides. And of course you can stand up and do this. I'm just staying down here. There's enough intensity for me right now. So like I said, this is something that you can do while you're watching TV or when you wake up, it's great. Check out your whole body. It's a great routine to do at night, or if you can, do both. <laughs> and go ahead and relax with me. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's helpful. And I really encourage you to make this a part of your routine because whether you're exercising or not, your body does need that recover. We do so much every day. You do so much. The world needs you. Your family needs you. So please, 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 Take care of yourself and I will see you in our next workout.